Uh, would you want to comment on on the recent uh, newspaper articles that we've seen about uh, Penn Gaming's involvement with uh, the standard bread operation that's going to be talked about in, in Lawrence County and how that all ties in, sir? Yeah, as it's been reported in the newspaper, uh, we have been in, in negotiations with the folks who hold the, harness, the last harness license in Pennsylvania. That harness license has been contemplated to be developed in Lawrence County. Uh, those negotiations are, are by no means final. That's why they were before the Pennsylvania Harness Racing Commission asking for an extension. That extension was granted <coughs> through May 31st. Um, so our negotiations do continue. Uh, they originally approached us with the hope of having us stop our progress in the Mahoning Valley. Uh, they had thought that if they asked us to be involved with them that we would cease this, this process in front of this commission. Uh, we assured them that that was not possible. Uh, we are very committed. Um, we have owned a piece of land now for almost a year. We've been working on wetlands remediation through the 404 and the 401 permitting process to prepare that site for the construction of the facility that you have in front of you. Um, so we are 110% committed to the Mahoning Valley. So that's what I can tell you. Whether or not those negotiations are successful um, remains to be seen. We have at this point in time through May 31st to complete them. Uh, the type, is, type of uh, involvement in gaming would be, could you ex expand on what you can expand upon without reaching any yeah, our, our discussions to date um, have focused on us providing the financing for the facility um, and managing the operations. And the financing for the facility, those license holders saw our announcement that we were splitting our company into a real estate investment trust and an operating company. And they asked the question on the real estate investment trust as the vehicle to fund and own and lease them the building. <coughs> And if, if you can, uh, would there be an equity interest uh, with uh, this, this new, or just strictly owning and, and leasing back or whatever through your REIT? Yeah, this, if, if there is an equity interest in the license or the operation, uh, that has not been contemplated in, in, in negotiations to date in any material fashion. Um, so if there were, it would be an immaterial amount. So could you square up Penn Gaming's involvement if this were to come to fruition, having a track that's, you running a track, it's a standard road track 25 miles away from where you're making a substantial investment, plus your $75 million and whatever, how that, how that squares up? Yeah, we, we think that if they are managed commonly by a common operator, uh, common manager, um, we can highlight the attraction of each facility. And the attraction of a Pennsylvania facility is you can smoke in it and you can bet table games in it. The attraction of the Youngstown facility is you're much closer to the Mahoning Valley population in Austintown. Um, so that by having a same manager, you can market in different directions rather than beat up against each facility. So that from a, a Pennsylvania perspective, you could market and focus the facility more heavily into the northern Pittsburgh suburbs rather than west across the Ohio border. So we think there are advantages to both facilities uh, that help stabilize operations in both facilities if they were to be commonly managed. And quite candidly, the equity holders in that license uh, didn't start from that perspective, but have gotten to that perspective. Any questions? Of, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't. Uh, you thought you were off the hook. No, but I, I think, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate you bringing me back up here. Yes, we talked about it. There is a last license in Pennsylvania. Uh, we can't, no one can go forward with the planning and the construction for an Austin Town facility ignoring that. Um, so when you hear comments like the overall population is 550,000 people, which is not adults, that's total people and recognize that there is the potential for another facility that as the crow flies is about 18 and a half, almost 19 miles away, um, that also tempers how much capital either party can invest in their facility. 
and to be an adult on your plan, you have to be 25 years old, right? Because those are the census. I, 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 I'm an adult. I got you. Thank you. Today. Today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>